Hey guys, what's up? Jordan here. Here today, I know I've made a video on how to make a paper wand on YouTube before, but that was a while ago, and so I think I should, you know, redo it, especially now that I have a better device to record it on. The quality is much better. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're obviously going to be making paper wands. Hooray, yay! What you gonna need? Scissor. Scissor. Going to need some tape. Scotch is recommended. Yes. You're also gonna need some paper. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take two small pieces of tape, about yay big, and just put it on there. Boom. Okay. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do the scissoring way. Meaning, it's going to have a flat bottom instead of a twisted bottom. Okay, so what you're going to do is you are going to take your sheet of paper. Place the rest aside. There's tape. You're going to start from any corner, any corner your heart so wonderfully desires. Then you're going to start twisting it up very tightly. So you should get this very somewhat long, very thin, tightly wrapped piece of paper. Alrighty, so now that you have this, you have your very tightly piece of paper, you're going to take this little flab right here, you're going to hold it like so, you're going to take your piece of tape, and you are going to just tape it on there. And then you are going to take your piece of tape, as soon as it's taped onto the piece of corner page, you're going to just twist it on there. And just press it on there, you might want to hold it down for a couple seconds, that way it actually sticks to the paper. And so you have your first part of your wand. Alrighty, so then what you're going to do is, you're going to do the same thing. Yes, again, the same exact thing, except for the tape. You are not going to tape it just yet. Alright, take your other piece of paper, do the same thing. Here we go. If I can get it, perfect. Right, you're going to want it very tight as the same way. And I keep thinking there's a bird flying by the window, but there really isn't. Yes, I might be crazy. All right, so then what you're going to do is you're going to take your piece of paper rolled up thingy. And you're going to measure it inside. So what you're going to do is you're going to gently untwist it up to a size where you can slide this one into that one. Let's see. Try this corner. Sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes this is the wrong entrance to, you know, roll it into. Alright, but this time it was the correct entrance. Alrighty, so then you're going to want to twist that in there. Then you're going to want to take your piece of tape, your second piece of tape, and Rip it off the thing and place it onto the corner piece of paper that you so wonderfully created. Alright, so then you're going to want to hold it like so and then just, then just twist it on there. Boom. Boom. So now that you have your long wand, I don't think you're going to want a wand that long. It's wider than my shoulders. <laughs> You're going to want to cut it. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the thinner piece, not from the handle, from the, but the thinner piece, and you're going to cut at least about an inch off. And I forgot to take the cover off. Fail. <laughs> an inch. And you're going to want to take the scissor blade and just, you know, twist it in there. That way you have that rounder look. 
Oh, right. Then you're going to want to flip it over and take the handle. So you're going to want to figure out which size you want the best. So what I would recommend you do is you hold it like this. You just keep sliding it until you think that's the best way to hold it. So that there, I'm going to cut right there. And boom. This is really good. You'll know whether you have a very good cut when you see this on the end of the wand. If it will autofocus, that'd be great. Okay, there we go. You see? You can see all the other pieces of paper rolled up in there. If you get that little edge, just cut it off. There you go. So now you have your thing. So now you have your basic form of wand. Hooray! Now let's go test it out. Spelling on us!